Hi, it's Adrian Patterson from Micrographics here, and I thought I'd give you a quick uh, workflow with regards to sheet metal design that I used to use when I was doing sheet metal design on a daily basis. What we're going to do is we're going to create a cube here about 300 by 300 by 300 using flanges on the sides. Now, the purpose of this workflow is to create complex uh, sheet metal panels easily, which allow drainage to one corner, or you end up with an angled bottom. Once we've got a flat bottomed version of the sheet metal that we're going to cut, the first thing we need to do is create some points. You can see me projecting some geometry to create some points on the one side. Essentially we're going to create three points which allow us to control a um, plane which is between those three points. That plane gives us the angle that the bottom of this tank essentially is going to be sitting at. Okay. So you can see me projecting some geometry here with those points and then using some dimensional control of those points so that we can actually change that at a later point if you decided to build this into an iLogic or a parameterized model. Okay, this is the third point and actually the lower side which I was hoping to drain towards in the corner. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. Now I'm going to select a three-point plane and choose the three points that I've now assigned to create this plane. Once I've got my plane, I actually need to cut away the geometry on the bottom that I'm not going to be using. So I'm going to use a circle to do this because I can sit here projecting geometry or I can just create a quick feature to cut away all of the uh, object below. Depending on your use for this model, this might or might not be the best way to do it but this was perfectly adequate to show you guys what I was going to do. I basically select cut through all and make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Apologies for the confusion. And after that cut has been done, I end up with the bottom of the box cut away and essentially four sheet metal panels which aren't connected in any way. The next step for us to do is to trim the bottoms of these cutaway panels because they were not cut at a straight angle Inventor Sheet Metal does not actually recognize them as cut sheet metal panels for us to create flanges off of or connect edges to so this trim feature becomes necessary in order to clean up our sheet metal panels as they exist currently in order to connect the bottom panel which we are going to create to them at a later point I'm going to repeat this procedure on the three uh, following panels and then we can continue with this design. Now that we've trimmed the edges there, we can offset a plane in order to create the bottom of this tank at the angle that we've already specified. I'm going to use some generic uh, dimensions here. The important part is the workflow. After I've created this plane, I'm going to start a new sketch on that brand new plane, and I'm going to offset the inner edges of my tank I do this using project geometry to project the geometry to the, s the sketch plane that I'm currently working in and then using the offset command to bring everything in by a certain distance so that I'm offset in both the X and the Y dimension before I create my edges. Once we have all of the edges trimmed, we're going to create a face command on that area so that it creates the bottom panel at the angle that we'd like, and it's time to move on to creating the bends. Just going to turn off this plane here so that we can get some better visibility on what we're going to be working on. Now I click on the bend command, and I'm going to click on the two inside edges of each one to create that particular bend. And I'm going to work my way to the opposite edges. That's going to end up with the most symmetrical looking uh, bend edges that I can possibly achieve and any manual bend edge changes can then be applied after that. And there we have our finished product. And if we have a look at the flat pattern you can see the complex shape that's been created by doing this part. You can see that this is a very efficient workflow to achieve this design.
Thank you very much. I hope that this guide to creating these types of sheet metal parts is helpful.